Hello, Ms. Frias. Here's a video to show you how you're going to be um, syncing up your grades. So just before I do anything, I'm going to show you. So if I go into my A block, I'm just going to pick the first like actual assignment here. Sorry for my floundering. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to go into today's and go into here. So when you click edit, there's this little thing down here that says sync to SIS. So that is what syncs everything over to TAC. So even if your category was ungraded, it still checks this off. So it's still going to show up as part of it. So what you have to do is go into the assignments that you have that you actually don't want to be graded. And you have to uncheck this thing that says sync to SIS so that it doesn't go over to um, TAC. All right, so now that I've said that, what you are gonna do is you're gonna, on Schoology, come down here to eSchool Plus. And as you can see, I have these ones that say opted out those are all ungraded assignments that I never wanted to be in TAC that I accidentally had had that SIS button clicked for, so they're all there. So it kind of makes it a little bit clunky because there's just so many assignments. For example, if you look at our period E class, I noticed that we did ungraded for pretty much most of it, but had the SIS, so now we just have all these assignments here that say opted out because I unchecked the SIS button and we have two pages of assignments now that not all of them are over in TAC. So in future, in the future, what I'm going to make sure to do is whenever I make an assignment that I don't want to be graded, I'm just going to make sure that I don't have that little SIS thing checked. All right, so all of that aside, you go into your course, you click eSchool Plus, and then you click Configuration. When you go into TAC, what you need to do is go to whatever course it is. It has to be the same one. So this one will be E, which I'm already in. You're going to go to Gradebook and Setup. Then you're going to go to Categories. And what you want to do is click this check mark right here, Calculate Average Using Total Points. You want to go into every one of your classes in TAC and check this little checkbox before you do anything else. So go into E, then go into all of your other courses, click the categories button, and then check off this first, calculate average using total points. This should be empty for you. Then you're gonna go back to Schoology, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the category from TAC that you want to include. So I had already put in my categories for Schoology. So I wanted to find something in eSchool that would just kind of, you know, match up with it well enough. So classwork, I already had a classwork. What you do is you click include category. When you do that, it might take a little bit. You come over here to this drop down and it shows you all the categories you have in Schoology if you've already had one. If you don't, you can just click create new Schoology category and it will create that in Schoology for you. So if you don't already have categories in Schoology, for all of the ones that you pick from TAC, you can put create new and it'll create it for you. So what I did was I did classwork for classwork, I did formal writing for writing, I did participation for discussion posts, and I did quizzes for quizzes and tests. Once you do all of those, you click save configuration. And it looks like nothing is happening, but if you give it a moment, up here it'll say your category configurations have been saved. Once you do that, you go into sync grades. Now, this is where the SIS thing is important. You want to only sync the ones that you want to actually grade. So again, even, those, even though these were all ungraded, since we had that little checkbox checked for sync SIS, it still showed up and would still have been uploaded and synced into TAC if I hadn't gone in and unchecked that box. Once you go in and uncheck that box, it says opt it out. So then it won't do it. 
Then what I did was I went through to all the ones that I wanted, and instead of successful, it would say not yet synced, just like this, not yet synced. What you do is you click this little button right here, it'll say queued, it'll be loading, you can leave this screen if you want to, it'll load within that time, and then once it actually goes in, it'll tell you the time it went in. So these ones went in at 157, these ones at 156. So you'll see that all of those got into TAC. You have to click this little button right here in order to get them in there. And again, we have two pages of assignments. I didn't want to forget about these two ones, so you click the little sync button. And once you get the actual thing saying successful, it's going to show up in TAC for you. So for instance, if I go over here, if I go into period A, I have all my assignments that I uploaded, which for them, they're a little bit behind because of our um, technological issues the other day. We missed A block. They only have two assignments in here. They're all in here, and they also contain the grades that I set for the students. So it shows the ones that I was able to grade are all hundreds, because that was just a participation grade instead of an actual rubric grade. And then for this next assignment, as I put them in Schoology, they will update to here as long as I go in to eSchool Plus, go into Sync Grades, and click that little Sync button for all the ones that you want. So I hope that this was helpful. I know it's kind of confusing, but just to show one last time, the thing that's important is when you go into whatever assignment it is that you're looking at, you click Edit, just make sure that you don't have this checked. Sync to SIS. It's going to automatically want to do that. So it'll be like this. You just have to unclick it. So then when you go over to Sync Grades, it'll say opted out. And it won't upload things that you don't want in there. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you need any other assistance, please let me know.